everybody, this is Lee with the Turquoise Valentine. We're going to make some tumbling tower uh, pumpkins. So I get them from five below, the bigger size and the Dollar Tree size. I get there. You can see the difference there. I get some stems from my yard. I got some various kinds of paint. You can paint them any color you want to. Um, so we're going to get started. So I take my tumbling tower blocks. We're going to do the um, bigger size right now. And you need eight for each pumpkin. And so you're going to take them and you're going to glue that one long side on the side of the other flush with the bottom of it. If you can see what I'm doing there, and I'm just going to put some more hot glue there and glue that just like that and let it set a minute. And then we're going to do with the other side, the same exact way. We're going to take it and glue it flush to the turn one, one way and one, the other, and then we're going to glue it the one on the other side as well and let it set up. That's the front of the pumpkin. Then we're going to take two other blocks and wedge them in between those two. And I'm going to put glue on both sides. And I'm not going to stick it all the way in. I'm just going to do it about halfway and let that set up. As you can see what I'm doing there. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Glue on both sides. And I'm just using regular Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm going to let that set. So there's our big pumpkin. And now we're going to do the same with the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower blocks. You need eight of those as well. See how the difference is, how small they are compared to the regular size. So I'm just doing the same exact thing I did with the big pumpkin. Just gluing like a, like a little bitty T almost. I'm doing that one's the back and this one's going to be the front. And there you just glue it on the side, same as I did with the big one. And then we're going to wedge those other two in between those two to do our sides. Not all the way, just halfway. And so it's going to leave you with a hole in the middle. But we're going to use the hole to put our stem, which are branches from I got from outside in my yard. So there you go. There's the little one. And then you got two. So now we're going to paint them. And you can choose any color. This is pumpkin from Waverly. You can use any color you want, green, white, you know, brown, yellow, whatever color you would like. I'm just going to use the pumpkin and I'm just going to paint it really quick. But there's, you know, you could do any color you want. You can mix the colors, make them muted tones, make them real pretty. That would be fine too. And it's, they're real quick to put together. I mean, this would be great to do with your kids. You could um, make a bunch and hot glue them for them and then um, let them paint them different colors. You could put a little jack-o'-lantern face if you wanted to or just leave them plain pumpkins. I'm going to use these on my tiered tray. So I didn't have enough paint, so i got to add a little more paint. <laughs> and then you could either leave it that color or you can distress it how you want. I'm going to distress it here in just a second. Get it all painted. I'm not really worried about the bottom. But these would be great for tiered trays, especially the little pumpkins with the Dollar Tree blocks. But yeah, Five Below sells these bigger ones in like a pack of, I think it's 48. And they sell them um, for $5 a whole box, or you can get them at Dollar General. And they're the regular size Jenga blocks. So that way you could have two size pumpkins, or you can glue some of the little ones together to make a taller pumpkin. So now I'm going to take some white in Waverly. And then I'm going to add some of this Anita's. I think it's Peacock Blue. We're going to add that to it. And I'm actually going to mix it a few times because it wasn't dark enough the first time I did it. So I actually add paint like three different times. And I end up with tons of paint. <laughs> but oh well. I wanted the shade. Had to get it to the shade I wanted. So I wanted it a little bit darker than that. So I added a whole bunch. Had enough to paint about 10 pumpkins, I think. <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm just going to get this little guy painted. Like I said, they go really fast. They, you know, they're really um, easy to make. And you can make a whole bunch of these and have a whole pumpkin patch. Or your tiered trays or just to set around your house. They would look really adorable. And just super, super easy and super affordable. Because a box of 48 of the big ones, you can make a whole bunch of pumpkins. Because you only need eight for each pumpkin. Or if you wanted to glue them together and make a tall one, you could do that too. All right, there's that. So now I'm going to um, start distressing the orange one with a little bit of burnt umber from Deco Art. 
I'm just going to tap my paintbrush in the paint and tap a little off. Then I'm just going to dry brush here and there, wherever I see fit for it to be a little distressed. You don't have to do this step. You could always skip this step and just leave it plain orange. I just like to add a little something something to my projects and give it a little more dimension. Sorry, some of that's off camera, but I didn't realize at the time, but it'll be okay. You'll get to see the finished product. So, and you can take a baby wipe. If you get too much of the distressing on there, just take a baby wipe or a wet paper towel and just wipe it off. It's very forgiving. So I did the top. Don't forget to do the top. So then I didn't know if it was enough. So I kept going back and see, I get a little too much there and I took a baby wipe and wiped it off. Now we're going to distress this little guy the same way. You could distress with gray. You could distress with white, whichever colors suits your fancy. Just do a whole patch of them, all different. So I'll get him distressed. Do the top. And then we're going to work on the stems. So I just got sticks from my yard. And I'm just going to break them to however tall I want. But you got to have enough to stick down into the top of the pumpkin. So I'll just put some hot glue on there, stick him in there, and just let it set up a minute. And I got glue everywhere. <laughs> let it set up. And we still got that hole, so we got to do something about the hole. So I'm going to take some of the um, Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree and just put some glue down in that hole there. And then we're going to poke some of that moss down in there and cover that hole up. And of course, you got to give it a little haircut and trim it off because it gets kind of wild and crazy. And then we're going to make some little tendrils with the wired jute from Dollar Tree. Um, some of this is not on camera. Um, sorry about that. But uh, I'm not real wild about this stuff because it does come off the wire. So you have to kind of put a little hot glue on the end and kind of roll it in your fingers and get it to stay. But it, it comes up, if you mess with it too much, it comes off of the wire. So you can use any kind of wire you want to, though. It doesn't matter. You don't have to use the wire jute. I just had some, so I thought, well, I'll just use that for a little extra texture and a little touch to it. So that's what I'm doing there, and I'm wrapping it around um, a pin. Or actually, that's a Cricut spatula handle and making it um, into a little spring. And I just hot glued it there in the hole, and he's all finished. So now we're going to make the other little guy. We're going to put a little stem on him. Same thing, just got my stick. Gonna just put it in there, see how long I want it, and break it off. And then I'm gonna glue that down into the center. Just like that. And then I'm gonna let him set up a second, and we're gonna add some moss to him as well. But I'd actually go back and do the tendril first because it probably is easier to do the tendril before you put your moss in. I didn't do that on the first one, so learn from my mistake. So get your wire or your wire jute or whatever you want to use and you can't see what I'm doing there but I'm actually hot gluing it to the wire because it keeps coming unraveled on the ends when you mess with it too much so now I'm just going to wrap it around my little um it's a cricket spatula handle and make it round and make the little spring and then I'm going to glue it down in there by the stem and I'm actually messing with it again because it's coming off the wire. So you just poke him down in there. And then we're going to fill the hole with glue and just poke some moss down in there. Just to give it a little extra something something. And then I'm going to take my scissors and give him a haircut because it gets wild and crazy. And that's that, guys. Don't they look adorable? And you could do this with your kids or your grandkids or do a bunch for your tiered trays. And I appreciate y'all watching. Um, I'd love for you to follow my page, the Turquoise Valentine. And I'll see y'all later. Thank you.